Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the classification of angles. One of the basic things na kailangan niyo matutunan when it comes to geometry is yung knowledge about angles. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and consider subscribing to our channel for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Basically, we need to define first angles. An angle is defined as a figure formed by two rays having the same endpoint not lying on the same line. And it is denoted by this symbol. This symbol uh, represents an angle. So let's have a short discussion about the definition of angles. We're in, as you can see, we have here this angle and that angle can be named as angle A, O, B, or we can also name that as angle B, O, A. So, bakit nga ba ganyan yung pangalan ng angle natin? As you can see, I started with, with this one, with, this, with the first name, I started with letter A. Ito yung kanyang pattern, A, O, B. And then for the second pattern, we have this name, angle BOA, BOA. Kung manonotice nyo, laging nasa gitna, or it's always in the middle, yung ating O. Bakit? Yan kasi yung end point ng dalawang rays na bumubuo sa ating angle. This is your... So let's focus on the first ray. We have ray AO. The end point of ray AO or ray OA is O. And let's focus on the ray OB. The end point of ray OB is O. So as you can see, yan yung common end point ng dalawang rays that formed this angle. So I hope na you already know the parts of an angle and you already know how to name an angle. So in the next part of our video, we'll try to classify angles. Now, here's the question. How do we classify angles? We classify angles based on the measurement of each angle. And by the way, we're using an instrument called protractor to measure angles. So again, we classify angles based on their measurement. The first classification or first type of angle that we have here is what you call the acute angle. Let us define acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures greater than 0 but less than 180. Again, an acute angle is an angle that measures greater than 0 degree but less than 180 degrees. So I have here an example in we can name this angle as angle G O N or GON that's me and the value or the measure of angle G O N is equivalent to is equivalent to 45 degrees as you can see that measurement of angle GON falls under the classification of acute angle. Sir, why? Because 45 degrees is greater than 0 but less than 180. So I hope you can imagine or you, you, you already know how to classify whether that the given angle is an example of acute angle. So, another possible example for acute angle is that when you have 65 degree angle, 75 degree angle, or 10 degree angle possible because all of these numbers or these measurements falls under greater than 0 but less than 108 degrees. So, let's move on with the next classification of angles. We have the right angles. 
A right angle is an angle that is equal to 90 degrees. Solely, isa lang yung kanyang measurement. And that is equal to to 8, sorry, to 90 degrees. We have here a right angle wherein we can name that angle as angle SPG or GPS. And the value or the measurement of this angle is equivalent to 90 degrees. Again, when we say right angle, the measurement of that angle is exactly 90 degrees. And as you can see, within this angle, uh, we have this box. This box indicates that the angle measures 90 degrees. Again, that box or that symbol represents a 90 degree angle. So let's continue with the third one and the fourth example or type of angle. We have the obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So kanina, we have the acute that measures greater than 0 degree but less than 180 degrees, uh, 90 degrees, while right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. And this time, for the obtuse angle, it measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So here's a single example that we have. We have here this angle KPL. The measure of angle KPL is 120 degrees. We know that 120 degrees is greater than 90 but less than 180. So can you please give me another example of an obtuse angle? Okay, so we can have 100 degrees, 90.1 degree, it's possible because that is greater than 90 degrees. You can also choose 150 degrees because 150 degrees is greater than, greater than 90 degrees but less than 180. Okay, so let's move on with the third, with the fourth type of angle. We have the straight angle. A straight angle is an angle that is equal to 180 degrees. So this angle, angle R, Q, S, is exactly 180 degrees. Therefore, that is an straight angle. So I hope that the first or the four different classifications that you already know the range or the exact value of each classification. We have the acute, right, obtuse, and straight angle. So in the next part of our tutorial, I'll be giving you an activity wherein you need to classify the given angle based on their measurements. And for this activity, we need to classify each as acute, right, obtuse, or straight angle based on their measurement. So let's have example number one or item number one. And this is the figure or the given figure for item number one. So we don't have the exact value of it, but as you can see, we have here a box that represents a 90 degree angle. Therefore, this one is a right angle. Okay, let's move on with item number two. In this figure, the measurement of the angle is 75 degrees. So when you classify 75 degrees, that is greater than 0 but less than 90 degrees. Therefore, this one is under the classification of acute angle. Third, we have this angle that measures 150 degrees that is greater than 90 but less than 180 degrees. This one is an obtuse angle and the fourth one we have the measurement but we didn't have the figure automatically 180 degrees is a straight angle and for the fifth one we have 15 degrees and that is greater than zero but less than 90 definitely this one is an acute angle 
So we are done answering the activity and I hope that you learned something from our tutorial video about the classification or different kinds of angle. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!